Sup guys, it's Tex again, and I got some news for you. I just finished watching E3 a while ago, and I just had to get this video out. Uh, I got quite a few games I want to go over and mention and talk about with y'all. Uh, so, let's just get started. Uh, Forenza, I uh, wasn't able to see that trailer, but I'm sure it's going to be a good game. And um, the past ones that I've seen have been good. I haven't played none of them personally, but from what I've seen, they've seen like really good games. Now, Dishonored 2. I have played Dishonored 1 on the Xbox 360, and it was a really good game. I really enjoyed it, and I expect a whole lot from this Dishonored game. Now, Tomb Raider, one of the biggest hits that's coming out this year in September. And that the trailer, if you haven't seen it, was badass. I really expect a whole lot from this game. And I really believe this is going to be one of the best uh, best Tomb Raider games that have come out in the past year, couple of years. Um, now we got some uh, small time games like Speedrunner and um, one that's a bit bigger than Speedrunners is uh, Shadow Warrior 2. Uh, Shadow Warriors 2 looks very interesting. Uh, you got some sword and uh, gun action going on here. Uh, you shoot up some demons and then slice them up with a couple of katanas and whatnot. Speedrunners is like a, a platformer game where you, you and a couple people run around this map and whoever falls off the map is dead. It's a really fun game. Uh, I don't know too many people who do play and haven't seen much out there for it. But Speedrunners is now coming to console so that, uh, that should definitely get it some attention. Um, Divinity. Uh, it's it looks like a really good game. I can't remember much from the footage, but uh, I wouldn't be mentioning it if I didn't and I like something about it. Uh, oh yeah, okay, Divinity kind of remind me a little bit of a uh, Wow. It's a uh, long that um, uh, line, uh, not too much though. I mean, it's magical fantasy and whatnot. And I hear it was actually out for PC before. And now they're just revamping it and putting it out for consoles and whatnot. Uh, Gungeon is uh, they <laughs> the uh, the the uh, spokesman people were actually talking about it being uh, kind of like a Minesweeper style game, and uh, it looked really interesting. Uh, and it's supposed to be coming out for uh, mobile and platforms, if I am correct on that. Um, now, and one of the big games was Mass Effect, which is supposed to come out Xbox, I mean, excuse me, Xbox, um, Christmas of 2016, somewhere around the holidays of 2016. Now that, uh, I haven't played any of the Mass Effects, yes, I know, I need to get out there and I need to play some more games, but I'm currently, um, have no console everything I'm playing right now is on PC so just trying to keep up with console uh, games just by watching videos and whatnot right now hopefully we'll have a console soon um, and another game is Need for Speed it's supposed to be coming out November 3rd uh, it's supposed to be a whole lot more immersive and a whole lot more uh, free will inside the game uh, Quite a, quite a bit of that with these upcoming games. Just more how you want it, uh, more free will to do this and that, and just more awesome gaming features. Now, one of the bigger, biggest hits that everyone wanted to hear about was the new Star Wars Battlefront game. Now, in this uh, footage they showed. It, uh, they used the original props from the movies to actually create the uh, amateur, the uh, footage inside the game. So like the X-Fighter, you're actually using the real X-Fighter on what footage they've captured with it and uh, just the looks and everything and everything else. And that's actually supposed to, if I'm correct, uh, supposed to come out November 17th. And uh, more information is at live2play.ea.com about that game. Um, we also have the Star Wars Old Republic game, and that's supposed to be October 27th. Uh, Knights of the uh, Fallen Empire. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, very interesting looking. Um, 
can't remember exactly what was free about it. I think the game itself was uh, a free to play game, but I could possibly be, be wrong about that. Don't take my word on that. Now, this one little game uh, that they showed in between the two conferences uh, was Unravel. It was a little puzzle platform. It has this little ball, you're this little yarn character where you go hopping through trying to get to the end and whatnot. It was a really uh, cute game. I really enjoyed watching the video. I just want to get that information out there. Now, some of you might remember Plants vs. Zombies from last year. Well, they are coming out with another Plants vs. Zombies 2 Garden Warfare. Uh, this time you're actually the zombies and the plants are on the attack. Uh, this is supposed to come out spring of 2016. Now the next couple line of games uh, all by EA is uh, uh, National Hockey League, NBA, FIFA, uh, and the NFL, all this. Uh, so the only thing really special is uh, NBA is supposed to be coming out with this uh, face app where you can take a picture of your face and you can upload it onto your avatar and actually play with your face on the avatar so it's more like you playing. Uh, all, all of those I believe should also be coming out about September or so of 2016. Um, and then there's uh, also another Star Wars game, uh, Galaxy of Heroes. And this is actually supposed to be for those mobile users out there uh, who uh, want to play Star Wars on the go. Uh, from what I saw from the footage, it looks really good and I expect to hear a lot from it. Now, all of you who are Minion fans, get ready. They are coming out with a Minions Paradise Builder game. And Phil is going to be the main protagonist in this. So, bananas! It's supposed to come out in about 2015 or so. Um, what, um, Phil crashes <laughs> this cruise ship onto an island and he's just got to build this vacation spot on this um, island in the middle of nowhere using, with the help of his buddies to try to make everyone happy and keep everyone's vacation in high spirits. Uh, another good thing about FIFA is um, women's teams. That was a big kicker for uh, FIFA this year was that they were coming out with women's teams. Um, okay, um, February 23rd in 2016, they're actually supposed to be coming out with a game called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Uh, I think there was a previous game. I'm honestly not too sure about that. But from what I saw of it, it was a badass game. I mean, uh, the act, you're playing as this female protagonist, uh, Asian woman, and everything seems to be like controlled and you're this one person who wants to go off and just do their own thing which is really cool now EA mentioned something about VR uh, so they might already have something going on or they're working on something I'm not really sure um, uh, live to play .ea.com is where you can find more information about the Star Wars games and all those other games that EA is coming out with. Uh, another small title game is King's Quest, uh, A Night to Remember. You start off as this, uh, we have this uh, monologue at the beginning of the trailer where it's this old man talking about his past and everything and then it got, uh, some of the gameplay showed was you being the old man but as a kid being a squire and just kind of follow his lifeline throughout all the way up for him being a king and this is supposed to come out in about July or so. Uh, for Honor, this game is um, medieval style, you're a knight, you're about battling and everything, it looks like a really good game. Uh, ForHonorGame.com, I believe they have a, a open beta coming soon for that so you can go out there and check it out. Uh, March 16th is The Division. And it's supposed to be an online open world RPG style game and there's this place called like the dark zone in the middle of Manhattan uh, it's supposed to be like you go in and you gather loot and whatnot and people can turn on each other and whatnot it's pretty crazy and there's a space game now called Anno 2205 A-N-N-O and then the year 2205 it's supposed to come out about November 3rd um, you like start off on Earth and then you build a city, build resources and some ships and you just take off the space. 
uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, another Tom Clancy game. The um, beta is supposed to be coming out September 24th, 2015 for this game. It looks really interesting, and I expect to hear more from it. Um, Trackmania. I uh, didn't write down much more about it except for just its name. Uh, so if you want to, just go out and look it up, see what you can find about it. Now, the la one of the last big title games I'm going to talk about is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This takes place in about 1890s or so England, right during the right during the uh, Industrial Revolution. Uh, and you just go in, you gather, uh, you defeat these gangs, and just try to turn the uh, turn the tide for the city populace so they can gain control of their city again. Uh, Assassin'sCreed.com has more information about it. You can go there and check it out. Um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. This looks like a really good game. Um, a whole bunch of different styles of gameplay while you're going through it. Uh, different ways you can go in on missions and whatnot. I really feel like this is a really good thing. Now, um, so let's uh, talk more about uh, Microsoft and the Xbox uh, One. Um, if you haven't heard, with the Windows 10 update sometime this summer, I believe, or about September, uh, they are adding in backwards compatibility. So all your Xbox 360 games, you can now, uh, you will soon be able to play on your Xbox One. I'm not sure how they're going to do that, uh, whether you got to uh, download them onto your Xbox One and then like uploads on the cloud, or they just gather your information from your Xbox 360 account to move it over and all your stats. I'm, I'm honestly not sure how this is supposed to work. Also, for all you Minecraft fans uh, who play Minecraft either on your uh, iPhone, your Android, your PC, your tablet, your PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, I don't care, or just all you Minecraft fans out there. They, uh, I'm not, uh, didn't get any release date information for the HoloLens, but you really should look up the footage about how, uh, what they use the HoloLens with uh, during, during the uh, live conference uh, with the Minecraft world. It is really, really cool looking. Um, right now, this is all i am got. I'll be back with uh, the Sony information later. Uh, sorry if I got any of this information wrong. Uh, you can just look up the live play later whenever they put it in video form. Uh, I'm sure... I'm sure they'll just split it up into sections like they did with uh, yesterday's gameplay uh, footage and conferences. Uh, well, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me play a little bit of War Thunder uh, on my PC, shooting up some tanks and whatnot. Uh, this is Texan Redneck, and I'm out.